Hello royal folks, it's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. Nigel Farage held a 60-minute special on GB News on Monday, talking about potentially removing the Duke of Sussex title from Prince Harry. In which, Nigel Farage has called for Prince Harry to be sacked from the royal family and his dukedom stripped for comments made in his upcoming book Spare and remarks he made during promotional interviews in the past few days. The former Brexit party leader accused the estranged royal of advertising the benefits of using psychedelic drugs, making the queen's life in her last few years far more difficult than it needed to be, and trashing not just his brother, but his father too. The GB News host said the estranged royal had proven there is no private conversation, even at his grandfather's funeral, that he won't try to profit on. He said, who is to say, if he was to come to the coronation, he would not try to sell stories about that and make money out of it. He's admitted drug use. He has virtually advertised to the younger population the benefits of using psychedelic drugs. He has proved that he is dim, he has proved that he is stupid, He's boasted about the numbers of Taliban fighters he has killed. He added, All in all, I think this is a complete catastrophe. I think he should be sacked from his position as Duke of Sussex. At least one good thing was that he said the royal family are not racist. Mr. Farage's comments followed an assortment of interviews by Prince Harry in which he accused members of the royal family of getting into bed with the devil to gain favorable tabloid coverage. Harry spoke to Britain's ITV, CBS's 60 Minutes and Good Morning America to promote his book Spare, which is to be widely released Tuesday. During those interviews, he accused his stepmother, Camilla, the Queen Consort, of leaking private conversations to the media to improve her own reputation. That made her dangerous because of the connections that she was forging within the British press, the Duke told CBS. There was open willingness on both sides to trade information. And with a family built on hierarchy, and with her on the way to being queen consort, there was going to be people or bodies left in the street. In a later conversation with Mr. Farage, historian David Starkey accused Prince Harry of being a traitor to his family. Mr. Starkey said, This man is a traitor to everything that he has believed in, to his family, to the monarchy, to the country, to his grandmother, to his father. We see what the problem is with the new gospel the new heresy of woke and of mental well-being. It is a gospel that is purely of the self. It discards every other obligation, duty, service, all the things that were so exemplified by the late queen. And instead, you have this vortex of self-absorption. But asked if Prince Harry should be sacked as Duke, Mr. Starkey answered negatively. He said no, because it would give him more attention than he deserves. He will naturally just fade away. Harry is perpetually declining in the order of succession. Why give them the satisfaction of the attention? The only way you can remove a dukedom title is through an act of parliament. Do we really want to go through that? So what do you think about this news, guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments and let me know what you think. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about royal family. Thank you.